Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Uh, today we will talk about the case creation service configuration. So this is the episode 6 of HRSD. Uh, last few days we are talking about a lot of things that case creation, how case creation configuration can be done, all those stuffs. But today we will talk about the case creation um, uh, service configuration. So very first thing is that we have to understand that what is the case creation service configuration. To, do, to, to understand that, let's stick to that our uh, demo instance. So this is our demo instance. So if I go back to the payroll, and in, in the payroll case, if I open this payroll case, so this, uh, this table is the payroll case where all the payroll related uh, keys are created. And although this table is extended from uh, our four case table, if I go and check the account type and click show match, uh, I mean click show, so you can see that um, the account type visible on SN HR 4 case payroll table. So it means that this account table is not available in other table. So if I go back to that, I go back to the total rewards table. So there is a one more uh, COE, the total rewards. If I go back to the total rewards table, there won't be any field uh, such call that account type. So let's see. So in that, you can see in this total rewards, we don't have such table. Uh, so that is the thing right so these fields the account number account type deposit so so these are the uh, table level field what is the table level field means that these fields are only available under the payroll case right but when we are creating a case right so uh, uh, when we are creating a case uh, we might need the specific information called account type right in this and we need the serving um, this field called account type and drop down how we can do that because if i here if i type the able tutor and then in this service if i type the payroll and then if i select any of this payroll and it does not ask any specific question so in this case we'll talk about that how we can create a specific fields under the case details um under the case creation form under the case details section so we'll talk basically how we can add the specific fields under the case details tab on case creation form. So without wasting time, let's get started. So very first thing is that what we have to do, we have to go back to that uh, case creation uh, configuration. So this is the case creation configuration module uh, that um, we covered in the last sessions we have to open that case creation here and then under this we have a call case creation service configuration we have to click new here and here we need to define for which table we are going to uh, 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 get some information so our case it's the payroll or table so we select the payroll and then we put the name as a meaningful name so we'll put the payroll and save that and before that we have to select that specific field that we want to add to our section so our case account type and then deposit type maybe do those two fill we'll take that account uh, type here in the left side and then the right side will uh, take the deposit side so deposit amount we'll take that so these two fields we need uh, during the case creation uh, uh, assuming that and then we'll save this record okay so going back here we'll save this one once we save that we that they are asking for the hr service so what will be our hr service click the edit and for which hr service you are looking for let's say the direct deposit inquiry for that we need that you can add multiple but we'll put that a direct deposit inquiry and save that So now uh, let's understand that what we have did. So we go back to the case creation page and in this page we create a service configuration under this uh, case creation called payroll for which particular table we want and then what are the fields we need to add and then in, in that uh, case creation service configuration we add the HR services or which HR services those fields will be visible. So that's it that's done let's understand and let's see uh, it is reflecting or not so let's refresh this page first case creation configuration page and then 
here we will put that again some user uh, called able tutor again and here in the service we put the payroll inquiry uh, so payroll deposit inquiry once you select the payroll deposit inquiry you can see the account type field and then deposited amount these two fields are visible so let's put, um, put that account type field in the checking and then amount i am putting 100 and or maybe 1000 and click create options and you can see the account type is sitting as a checking so that way you can add specific field for specific you know for specific case if you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Till the time, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.